Hi my friends, today we deal with a new and interesting tutorial, dynamic simulation on sketches. Let's see how can we move sketches instead of parts by using the dynamic simulation module in Inventor Professional. Let's start by creating a first sketch. this plane yz and we draw a circle with diameter of 12 finish sketch right click dimension visibility i don't want to see dimensions here and save as a circle small save and then another sketch the same plane big circle of 100 millimeters diameter Again, we hide dimensions, F6, and this is the circle. Save as circle big, yes, big, good. Now, an assembly. We place the big circle grounded at origin and we also place one, two, three small circle. We have here a mark for update. We update to have no marks there. Now we want to place circles in the same plane, not as you see in different planes. Yes, F6 to come back. How can we do this? By using the constraints the small, the first small circle to have its plane over the YZ plane. Apply. The second small circle to have the same plane over the yz plane apply and the last small circle the same it's plane to be over this plane okay now they are all one behind the other in the center of the circle now what we have, we have the same plane, all of them. Good. This is a good start for applying dynamic simulation. You see, we did this in uh, my tutorial number 142 designing a cam from the minute 7 and 12 seconds go there and see where we used sketches instead of parts in dynamic simulation if i try now to play 
we have nothing during this one second. Why? Because no forces or torques are participating here. If I apply gravity by copying the value of gravitational acceleration and place it on the axis Z with minus, now we have a force. We have something to move parts or sketches. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, oh, all of them are going down through the bottom of the space. What to do? We know what to do. We create joints. Insert joint. All of them are in the same plane. Then we are allowed to use the 2D contact join. We select a circle. This is the first curve. Closed contour. And the other. But we see that uh, uh, the contact is from outside. This Z axis is oriented outside the circle. We don't want this. We want the small circle with the Z outside to uh, collide with this circle inside. So we change the loop. Z direction. We flip Z direction. Like this. Apply. Same for another small circle and the same large circle with changing the direction. Apply. And the same for the last circle. Apply. We also create 2D contact joint between this very circle. All of them with the Z direction to outside the circle. Apply, apply, and apply. Let's have a frontal look and let's start the simulation. <laughs> you see? Let's change the number of frames. One thousand instead of one hundred. And we see slow motion now. I press F3 and I make zoom in the center. And we go to the playing. You see, very real and natural. Oh, we like this, yes? More than this, we can change objects. We get out from the dynamic simulation and we edit only one of these small circles. I create another circle with the same diameter with a distance aligned. Okay, trim and fillet 12 divided by 2 between the circles like this. 
and now only now I change the value with the same dimension as the diameter we can also place here uh, this divided by two yes we have only one dimension used here okay finished sketch you have to see the other uh, two elements there finished sketch all of them are crackers yes these are crackers out of the sketch and go to the environments dynamic simulation and with 1000 here frames per second we per this second we can run see they are free to move I didn't place any kind of uh, friction or anything but I suppose there is a friction there automatically is implied a friction let's see eliminate the friction you want this let's see contact joints properties yes friction is 0 point uh, 15 which is great yes the coefficient of friction is great we can make changes to every uh, contact to see what happens what I wanted to show you is real and uh, obvious take your time to try anything with uh, this and uh, accommodate with the dynamic simulation that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye